is a women's bantamweight matchup between Betch Cohea and Ronda Rousey. Well, here is a woman who needs no introduction, Olympic bronze medalist in judo, former UFC women's bantamweight champion, and a pretty good arm collector in her own right. Rowdy Ronda Rousey making the walk once again tonight as she tries to work her way back to that UFC bantamweight title. Ronda Rousey was a bronze medalist in the Olympics in judo and has one of the best arm bars in the history of combat sports. So here she is, ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Betch Pitbull Kohea. If she wins, she'll be dancing. When she walks, she is dancing. But when that octagon door closes, Joe, this is a confident striker, grappling credentials as well. Really a well-rounded bantamweight who still has championship aspirations. Betch Kohea, with the Brazilian crowd behind her, set to compete yet again tonight. This girl is an excellent striker. Very fast hands, excellent Muay Thai, good boxing, very good takedown defense, and she is an aggressive pressure fighter. And here is tonight's tale of the tape. Rousey is 31, Kohea is 34. Rousey will have a four inch reach advantage. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a judo wrestler holding a professional record of 12 wins, two losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Venice Beach, California, presenting the former UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Rowdy Ronda Rousey! And now for this new opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 10 wins, 3 losses, and 1 draw. She stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Campina Grande, Parima, Brazil, Beth Pitbull, Cohea! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliotta. Dan Mergliotta, your referee. You ready? You ready? Well, no shortage of UFC history has been made within these very walls. Good to have you with us as we get underway here at the O2 Arena in London. All right, here we go. Round one, there is the former world title challenger, Betch Kohea. You know about the hands, strong kickboxing game. We have seen an uptick in the takedowns recently. We'll see if she can go. Oh. This could be it. Oh, oh. oh. huge right hand. Inside control. Big body, body shot. shot there, too. Looks like she's got an armbar here. She's got that armbar locked up. It looks like she's got that arm pretty tight. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Incredible. Oh, Just yeah. absolutely incredible. Great job in getting this fight to the ground quickly and getting an early submission. Yeah, that was lightning fast, Joe Rogan. She did not waste a lot of time. She knew she wanted to get this fight to the ground and let her submission skills take over. So the takedown attempt comes early in round one, and the tap comes shortly thereafter. A huge turn of events here tonight. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap.
So there she is, your winner by way of submission. A huge result for her here tonight. And you gotta think that'll mute some of the naysayers she had coming in. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata calls a stop to this contest at one minute, 23 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. Ronda Rousey! All right, so congratulations to the former UFC women's bantamweight champion, Ronda Rousey, accomplishing tonight what a lot of people said she couldn't. Her entire MMA arsenal on full display. The results certainly speak for themselves. Not a belt tonight, but a huge, huge win for the future Hall of Famer, Rowdy Ronda Rousey.